Good morning, everybody. Dr. Shankopotamus and son of Shankopotamus here. Working on the uh, BMW X3. It's a 2008 model. Uh, very low mileage on this car. I think we're below 50,000 miles, so it's a low, low mileage car. In really good shape, except it's got one of the problems that some of these uh, engines have. Uh, we have got the N52 in here. It's the 3.0 SI, show you on the side. But here's what we're dealing with. Here's what I got. We kept getting this error. You can see over here the uh, 2A87. It's fairly common. And it's the Vanos um, solenoid. On the, in this case, it's the exhaust solenoid. Um, and I will put a link um, when I post this video to a um, bulletin from BMW and how to fix this. Uh, they recommend to replace the oil and replace both of the Vanos solenoids and then even pull the Vanos and make sure it's not worn in the wrong way and whatnot. And, but really to just put the, to replace the Vanos solenoid is really pretty easy, I hope. So we're going to get started here. Another thing I want to show you all, whenever you're working on things like the electronics on the car, it's a real good idea to have something like, I get this here, something like this, okay? Plugs into your OBD over there, put a battery on the end of it. This one you can also take off and there's, a, there's another plug-in that you could hook it up directly to your battery as well and keep it powered. This way you don't have to reset all your radio stations and all this kind of stuff. Anything that's already set on the car will stay set while you disconnect the electronics so you don't accidentally cross some wires and short out something on your computer system. A lot of people uh, do this work, electronic work, without disconnecting the battery. It's always a little bit sketchy to do that. There's always a chance something could happen. You could short something out when you're disconnecting and reconnecting electronic components and you could blow your entire um, control unit and that would cost you a lot of money. So good idea to disconnect the battery and on these cars the battery connects to the batteries in the back but you can disconnect this hot cable right here. That's also how you jump it if you need to jump it. Um, and once that's disconnected you're golden. So we're going to go ahead and unhook that and then we'll get started. All right so when you go to connect, you have to come out just a little bit. Here we go. Hook this up. You see it's powered now because we got the battery hooked up to it. Your OBD outlet is just right there on this car. It's always somewhere underneath the dash and you're just going to plug this in powered and then leave it while you're working on the car. All right, so we're looking at the, um, oh, sorry about that glare, the X3 service manual. Like I mentioned, we got the N52 engine, um, which is really easy to get to these Vanos solenoids. Here's your um, picture. They're right on the front of the engine. This is with the covers and everything taken off of the Vanos, so you don't have to take all that off. All we're after are these sensors that go through the front of the um, block, well, I guess the block cylinder head. Yeah, front of the cylinder head here. Um, and the intake Vanos is on the top, and the exhaust Vanos, as you can see from here, is the one that's on the bottom. Um, the BMW um, bulletin that I'm going to put a reference to, it says to replace both of them if there's ever an error. They're 150 bucks each. Um, I think I got them off of ECS tuning, and so we're just going to replace the one that's given us an error. And if that fixes everything, fine. We'll leave the other one alone. Uh, but it's a pretty common problem. Another um, thing to uh, to keep in mind too is that um, when you when you do this they recommend you replace the oil because sometimes there's a problem with oil particles or oil dirt getting in and making them stick so they say when you're going to do this part of the job is to uh, replace the oil alrighty I also just noticed something with the um, this Bentley manual uh, contrary to what BMW recommends um, it actually says here that you can try pulling the solenoid off and uh, blow out any particles or contaminants in it and reinstall it. But from what I've seen online, these things tend to be a real problem with sticking. And hopefully the newer one is, the newer one we're going to put in is redesigned. Uh, but another way to test it also, we've just got so many errors on the exhaust one. I know it's a problem. I'm not going to do this. But you can swap them if you're getting one of them that's bad. Like in our case, our exhaust. Um, we, could, we could swap the two of them, run the car for a little while, and then see if we get an error. But we're not going to fart around with that. We're just going to go ahead and replace place the exhaust one and then run it for a bit and see what we got. All right, so here we've got the the main power off, which is down here. That goes down to your starter. Um, this other, and into your some of your components. 
Um, there's another hookup that goes into some of your computer components, um, this smaller wire. You want to disconnect both of those, okay? You don't want power going to your computer system, I mean, into your um, computers at all so that you don't short something out while you're working on it. So we're going to take that one off. All right, so we're going to start by taking off this um, air intake cowl here. There's four screws. Use a Torx here. I'm going to take these off. I haven't taken this one off before. We'll see. I think this comes off. Then there may be another couple of screws or something holding this section on. But according to the Bentley manual, we got to come off here first. So we'll get this off, see what's underneath. Okay, so we got the um, first front section off. I actually took the little speed nuts out uh, because they started to strip towards the end. So I pulled them out so we go back in and, and re-tap them and, and clean them up. I'm not sure what that happened to those, but anyway. So these other ones came off just fine. And we're coming off here and here. I think we may have to come off right here to get this to slide out the front, but we'll see. Okay, so as you can see, we're off. You have to take the two and here, there's four, and then it slides right out. Um, and then you'll see what we're after is right down here on the front of the engine, right there. Exhaust on the bottom, intake on the top, okay? Um, much easier to get access to these than the E46, which is down inside the Vanos if they get stuck. So anyway, we're just gonna pull it off. Um, there's a screw, that, a bolt that you can take off to release it. Um, you wanna unhook the um, electrical connection here and then we'll unhook the bolts and then out it comes. It's gonna be pretty simple. Alrighty. Okay, so we've got the exhaust. Let me come this way so we can. Exhaust solenoids out right there. A Little bit of oil around it, not much. Just put a towel and that's about all the oil we kinda of got. Just if you don't wanna be really clean, it'll let it drip. And then make sure your O-ring came off. It should stick to it. And make sure your new one has an O-ring. If you buy the BMW brand, it comes with an O-ring, a new O-ring. So we're just going to slide that onto there. I couldn't find a tightening torque for it. I think it's probably a little bit, but not too much. You definitely don't want to over-tighten into the cylinder head there and end up with something you have to tap out. Um, we just tighten it down until it's getting snug. And you can see here where we've dis disconnected. These little connectors, if you're not used to BMW connectors, or this is your first time working with them, let me show you. Well, I can't get it up here. There we go. So this just pushes, let me get it, it's hard to do. This just pushes in, this this metal little clasp. You push that, oh, sorry. You push that in like that and then pull it off, okay? I mean, I can get an even better shot of it. Here we go, so it goes like that. It pushes in and releases and you can pull it off. You have to hold it in while you're pulling it off. Let it up, it locks on. Okay, here we go. Okay, so we've got it back in, and we've got the electrical connector here. And don't forget, whoops, sorry, this dielectric grease. So we're gonna put a little bit right on top of the connector, see if I can film and do it at the same time. Here we go. And this just helps to seal it. Keep water and dirt and everything out of it, and we'll hook it up. Alrighty. All right, so we're all back together. We're in, we're hooked up. This really does not take very long to get in there and get that done. So um, very simple, just reverse, put the covers back on, hook, hook your power back up, um, your battery back up, and then pull out um, the, um, what we plugged into the OBD um, outlet over there. So anyway, well, as always, thank you all for watching. I might take a picture when we're done. I don't know, it just goes right back together. It's fairly, fairly easy, but uh, thank you all so much for watching. If you like this video, uh, please subscribe to the channel um, and give me a little shout out. All right, y'all have a good afternoon. Bye.